There's one thing that I never spoke about before on my YouTube channel, even though it's one of the most important things and it allows our clients and also the biggest brands that you see in the space crush the market, which is big data intelligence. It's a really complex topic. So in this video, I broke down the most important things that you need to do in the exact SOPs so you can get a better understanding of your target audience and why your customers are buying from you. So you can use it to optimize your ads and landing pages to better resonate with the people that you actually want to reach so they buy from you. To achieve this, we feed data points from your market, your target audience and customers into our own data intelligence solution so that we can close specific gaps in the conversion process. In the next step, we then develop hypotheses to continuously adapt the customer journey to the state of the art and achieve the highest conversion probability with the highest order value. And this enables you to serve the forcing functions of the market and buy into an unfair competitive advantage. The next 32 pages are breaking down every single step of this down to its core and I have all of our resources and SOPs linked. Meaning you can either apply this yourself or you can take the shortcut and start with us. If you're a serious entrepreneur and you have a strong desire to grow the heck out of your business and you wanna work with the best people in the world for this, I want you to book a call with me or one of my team members at this link, acceleratedagency.com slash demo. Again, you can do all of this yourself and most of you will probably use this for yourself and the people that are at the level that's interesting to work with us, they will see that it's way smarter to just work with us to take the shortcut and not go through all of this trial and error trying to do it yourself. But again, I will link all of the resources, all of the SOPs, so if you would want to do it yourself, you can. So let's dive into the accelerated growth model. First and foremost, there's no simple push button solution. There's no blueprint that will catapult you from where you are to maximize conversions and average order value. Because if there was, everyone would take it. It's like the blue pill in the matrix. Our goal at Accelerated is to build this holistic approach sustainably and help brands to scale profitably in the long term. We stand behind our work with a 100% ridiculous guarantee. Now, we don't work with everyone because we have really limited bandwidth, but if you want to become a rockstar entrepreneur, it's really time to make moves. So activity number one is powerful data intelligence. The first thing we do in any ramp up is generating powerful data intelligence. The execution of this is that we build a solid foundation for data driven decision making and gain deep insights into the target audience. The outcome of the first step is a really well integrated tech stack, a comprehensive data analysis and a thorough understanding of the target audiences. So what are we going to go through now? is how to set up the tech stack to generate and collect quantitative and qualitative data points. We're going to talk about how to collect them, how we use our accelerated AI to then go through them and analyze them to how to conduct the holistic data analysis and then how to achieve the big data intelligence and the really deep market understanding. This is the process for the first step. In the current market situation, you win if you use your data better than your competitors. You generate valuable data points all day long on your website, meaning you see exactly what customer journey your customers have, where they click, how they scroll, at what point they maybe abandon the purchase process and which pages are crucial for conversion. You have all of this data on your website already, right? So it's really about how can you make faster and better decisions with the highest probability of success with a data-driven process behind that. So we are doing this whole scenario on steroids and here's why. Over the past couple of years, we've gained groundbreaking insights into customer data. That's why we know exactly what works for the biggest players in the industry in terms of paid acquisition and their funds. We have over $1.4 billion collected in customer data points from the revenue of the clients that we've been working with and you get access to this. For you, this means that you can see market trends before they happen and act accordingly. It also means that you are always one step ahead of your competition because you can use the insights of the world's biggest brands to your advantage. So in the onboarding process, we set up the complete tracking solution for you individually and feed your data into our software. If you have an eight figure brand, you spend thousands of dollars every single day to buy hundreds of thousands of impressions, tens of thousands of visitors and hundreds of abandoned shopping carts. So let's take a look at this example from one of the brands that we're working with. In April this year, they made 2.38 million in revenue and they had a 4.67% conversion rate with a 47 euro average order value. 
So in this first step, we first carry out a big data analysis to close all gaps in the conversion process. In other words, we quickly get more money out of your current setup. So let's say, just like this brand, you have around 30,000 abandoned cards per month at around a $50 AV. That's $1.5 million per month in revenue that you didn't collect. If you can only get 10% more of those to follow through with the checkout process, you will directly add another seven figures in revenue per year. So for this brand, you can see here, uh, this is the revenue that they did in April. And now here, this is the revenue that they did in May. You can see they had a 10% increase in their revenue while the average order value was staying the same. Because here you can see that we've increased the add to cart by 15%, their initiated checkout by 8% and the conversion rate by 8%. And this, as you can see, has a crazy impact on their revenue. This is almost a quarter million per month in addition revenue that we get them just because we've increased their conversion rate by 8%. The point that I'm making is the traffic is already there. This means we need to gain a crystal clear understanding of why users abandon the purchase process and where we need to optimize. Which is why we set up the data stream tech stack to collect valuable quantitative and qualitative data points. Many organizations have no data at all or the data is flawed. And this is due to mistakes in tracking or data cleaning. Therefore, you have to set up targeted tracking to understand exactly how users are behaving. The three data streams needed to build something useful include the market data, the website data, and the customer data. The way that I like to look at it is, if you have the customer journey in front of you, it's basically what happens before they buy, while they buy, and after they have bought. So the market data is basically everything like current technologies, trends, active forces, and wines blowing in an environment. The website data as the activities that your prospect is trying to do or is doing, the path that they are on and the specific forces acting on them. And then the customer data is that the specific reasons that led to the prospects turn into customers and the customers buying repeatedly. So most entrepreneurs have the basics covered. They know how to build this. They know how the technology works. They may have also set this up, but they are missing how the technology applies in a way that makes it useful. So we need all three data streams for holistic understanding of the customer journey. And here I will show you how to set this up. If you like what you're seeing in this video, then listen up. I have a nine hour course with training materials and standard operating procedures that I've condensed into a 70 minute training video, which is not publicly available. If you want to access this training videos with all of the SOPs and all of the processes that we follow in our agency with the clients that we work with, then click on the link in the description, uh, put in your email address so I can send the training and send the video to you. So the market data, um, I have the process explained in another video from minute 29 that you can see here in terms of how we collect all of that. And for the market and competitor research, you basically want to pull every single aspect of the funnel, like the creative targeting pages, all of that into different flow charts. So here, just to give you an example of how I like to do it, um, I like to just grab the competitors from the market and then get a high level funnel overflow in terms of what ads do they run? What is the first landing page that they see? Do they have any retargeting ads live? What is happening on the offer page? How, th how is the offer structured? What is happening in the checkout process? Do they have any upsells? Uh, what if you abandon the checkout process? Do they have any abandoned checkout uh, mails? What happens uh, during the checkout process, after the checkout process, uh, with retargeting and all of that, just to get a really good understanding of what the funnel looks like. Again, I have this resource linked and you can also see um, the full video breakdown here of how to set up these workflows in these funnels. What you're going to see um, in this video is me talking about everything pretty high level, right? And then if there are specific areas, if you want to do it yourself, you can just click on the resources that I've linked here to dive deeper into the, the specific topic because otherwise this video will probably be 10 hours long. So that's the market data. Secondly, the website data. There are three things that you want to do. You want to track specific data points with Google Tag Manager. You want to store, clean, and analyze data with Google Analytics. And you want to track user behavior with Hotjar and Microsoft Clarity. Again, I have all of the resources linked 
Here, this is an um, internal video from Loom from one of our data analysts where he explains the complete Google Tag Manager tracking setup. And then I have another Google Tag Manager course linked. Same with Google Analytics. I have our complete Google Analytics audit and setup Notion SOP linked here. Again, I could probably sell all of this as a video course by itself, but I'm just giving you this for free. You can see that there are so many videos inside of this. Um, so the thoroughness is really crazy. Again, this is our whole SOP. You can see 45 minutes, 24 minutes, 22 minutes. So this SOP by itself is around three hours just for the Google Analytics setup. So you can see how in-depth all of these trainings are. And then user behavior and hotshot here. Again, I also have an SOP linked in terms of how to set up those tracking tools and what to do. So the last point is the customer data. Again, I also have a SOP linked in terms of how to gather qualitative data from a customer with message mining and user surveys. Again, complete SOP breakdown of how to do that in site. So, as soon as you have enough data available, you need to have a data analyst to analyze the data and uncover low hanging fruits and big leverage activities immediately. So immediately fixable is something like site speed. Again, I have another SOP linked in terms of how to improve your website load speed that you can just use for that. So this, if you see that you have a low page speed, then use this SOP. And another thing is bugs and technical problems. For understanding lowering fruits, you can put the data from Google Analytics into a spreadsheet like this. So here I have also linked a spreadsheet that we like to set up with Google Analytics. So you can pull all of the data into the spreadsheet to get a good understanding of your audience. You can then analyze for pages with a high bounce rate for products with a low add to cart or product page view rate and abandonments in a checkout. So what we do is we feed those three data streams into our own data intelligence solution. So we build a software that connects to Google Analytics, Shopify, and other tools via API, and it affects all important data points of the business. So we can leverage this new technology to automate data analysis and maximize efficiency because it, it's super, super uh, tough work for a data analyst to do all of this himself. So this solution enables us to conduct a holistic data analysis and attain a deep target audience understanding. So leveraging AI is crucial to efficiently manage customer data and gaining a deep understanding of the target audience and market. Using this, we can quickly process large volumes of data, segment customers based on their behavior and preferences and uncover hidden patterns and trends. This leads to comprehensive and data-driven understanding of your target audience, enabling you to tailor your marketing and product strategies to better resonate with your customers. Additionally, a combination with data from marketing gives even deeper insights into user motivations. Here I've linked a great case study from Marin and me, where we've been working together on the OD for ages, and we've just broken down of how to combine these aspects from the data analysis with the marketing and the conversion rate optimization. Here I've linked um, a couple of SOPs to conduct a great user and personal analysis. Uh, the first one is a chat GPT SOP. And then the second one is basically the persona brief, right? So you can use these prompts um, to create a great persona. And then you can put the results into this persona sheet. And this is going to give you a really, really great overview um, of how to target your persona. You can then use this for marketing. So Additionally, this can be used for marketing ideation to better address the target audience or quickly and efficiently tap into new target audiences with minimal risk. Here are a lot of more resources for quick wins. The first one is the low hanging fruits checklist, right? This is a big CRO checklist that you can use for all of the different pages like landing page, home page, category page, product page, card page, checkout page, and thank you page. And then we also have some general stuff that you can check out and psychological triggers. So just make a copy of this and use it for your brand. And then second thing, quick wins grading system. Basically, this is a lot of stuff, right? You can see there's like a lot and a lot of stuff that you can do for CRO. So what I want you to do is if you go through this and you, you work with this, then what you want to do is you want to do a grading. Right. And what this works like is that you just, for example, let's say on a landing page, you found that um, you don't have an FAQ section yet. Right. And then you would put it here as an FAQ section and you find that out with like 10, 20 things. Then you can use this grading system to focus on the biggest leverage activities first. 
then I've also linked a couple of audits that I did um, that you can see on my Twitter for like different brands, just so you can get an understanding of like how we think about zero, right? In terms of how we work with home pages, collection pages, product pages, and all of that. You can see I have all of these audits linked. These are just five of the audits that I did. There are hundreds of audits on my Twitter profile. So I, I recommend you to check this out because there's like so, so much stuff and so much SOPs too. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see how we apply big data intelligence to a specific case, then what I want you to do is underneath the video in the comment section, I've linked the case study of Coconut Beauty. And with Coconut Beauty, what we did in a really saturated market is we figured out what their customers want and then based on that, create a new offer that helped them to generate millions of dollars on a new paid ads funnel. So check out the video now.